Okay. Uh, Jason, I'm assuming that you know how the gradient of a straight line can be calculated. If I give you a line like that, say on an axis diagram, and I say, okay, that line is y is equal to mx plus c, you know how to calculate m, don't you? Uh, yeah, you're going to need two points on the line, though. Okay, I will need two points. One will be x1 and y1. And the other one will be x2 and y2. Alright, and then I'll say... Um, x1 minus y1 over y2 minus y1. No, you be, must be careful. No, Jason. Yeah, <laughs> you must oy, be careful. Oy. Always mm. y over x. Y over Remember, x. Remember, it's oh, the fraction okay. of the vertical displacement divided by the horizontal displacement. Oh, okay. Remember, we did this in the coordinate geometry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we're not going to go into coordinate geometry right now. I just want you to remember that formula. That's going to be very important for later on in this lesson. And I also need for you to understand that I could have taken that y away and called that function f of x. Are you familiar with that notation? I am, yes. It does mess me up a bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that f of x... Um it usually means it's for a straight line. Why? No, no, it doesn't have to be a straight line. It could be any graph. The thing is, we had, for instance, y is equal, let's say, a half x plus 1. Let's say, for instance, that was the, the straight line equation. But it could have been an equation of any graph. It doesn't have to be only straight line. But what I'm saying then is we could take that y away and replace it with f of x where the f is the name of the graph that's all it is you have a name, I have a name, that graph has a name it's called f or f ok, like. alright, I see alright, and the x tells you that inside of the equation inside of the equation you will be working with x ok Right, so that whole thing there means exactly the same as y. Okay. Just a quick question: the where the x now, is in the bracket, important. you say yes, yes. Um, you you say that uh, it shows that you're only going to be working with x. So, what if there was another? Is there could there be another value in the place of the x, and then you'd be would you be working with that through the? <laughs> Mm, mm. The equation. Let's say you had f of a, then it would be a half a plus one. Oh, okay, all right, okay. All right, it just indicates the input variable in your equation. That's all it does. Okay. But that's very important, Jason. Very, very important that you understand that. Whatever is inside that bracket refers to the input variable, and it is the same as the y value. I need okay. for you to assure me that you understand what I've just said. Yeah, no, no, I understand that. Okay, because why it's so important that this, if we take that point x1, I could replace that y1 with f of x1. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, I see. And I could replace the y2 with f of x2. And each time yeah. I will simply be getting the y value of the two points. Yeah. Are you are you happy with that? E, um let me just see. Yeah, I no, take no, the x value that. of a certain point, any point. Okay, let me just repeat it for you. I take the x value of any point. So that point has an x value x1. I feed 
the x1 into the x but it means whatever value let's say that x was minus 3 I would now have f of minus 3 but the important thing is that x inside the equation will also become minus 3 so I'll actually be calculating a value which will be the y coordinate of that same point that I've just used the x value for okay are you are you <laughs> confident with it <laughs> yeah that, just a bit complicated in the it shouldn't be complicated Jason it's very if you think about the fact let's say that equation is given by f of x is equal to a half x plus one and I'm asking you I'm telling you that there's a certain point x let's say it's minus two there's a certain point at minus x is equal to minus two find the y value for me what you will do is you'll feed that minus two into the x and you'll say it's a half times by minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 alright so the y value of that point will then be equal to 0 ok yeah so then therefore f of x is equal to 0 you understand what zero. I'm saying there yes but I actually calculated the y value so that's what I'm saying I could replace the f of x with y, x with y. ok alright so by substituting the x value into, into the equation, I get my y value. But I could have written this as f of minus 2 as well, because now my x has become a minus 2. So obviously inside the bracket, it also needs to be minus 2. Okay. Okay, now that is what is important for me I need you to understand what I've done there I cannot proceed until such time as you know what I've done there I can replace the X inside the bracket and I can replace inside the equation to get the Y value of a point yeah, yeah no no I understand 